Well, hello, stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper. And I'm finally here to do Chew Corner. I know that we're 35 minutes late, but I have a bit of a story to tell. Um, my sister-in-law dropped by for coffee. Now, she was supposed to come for supper Sunday night, but I wasn't well, so I canceled. And even today, I said, you know, I you know, don't want you to catch anything. She's flying to North Carolina on Wednesday, and her husband died in August. And he was only 59 years old, and it was really tragic. And she's going to North Carolina, and there's going to be, there's just going to be Christmas celebrations, and there's going to be a lot of family. And she said, you know, I just don't want to tell the story every time again to all the family members. I'm just, that's going to make me so sad. So I offered to translate her story for her. And um, so when she came and we were busy with that, I thought, you know what, I'm not going to say I have to go because I have to do cheer corner. So we had a lovely visit and I now have the story for her in English and I will write it out to her, um, you know, so she can print it off and put it in a little book and uh, share it with people. So anyway, that's an idea. But let's get started with the card. I'm hoping that the um, internet is okay. It might not be. So if it is chopping and freezing and doing whatnot, apparently on the replay, it's fine. Um, so keep me posted. Feel free to share what your experience is on your end. Um, I'm going to dismiss. It says that there's my internet connection isn't great. So yeah. And I wouldn't mind your honest feedback as well. If you say, you know what, Jackie, please don't do live videos anymore. I would much rather just watch a, a recorded video. Then I'm okay with that. Okay. It's good to know. So let's get started with the card. And I will reply. I don't see anybody yet, but that doesn't mean that nothing's happening. It always takes a little while. So thanks for joining me. All right, let's go here. And look at this. I have this cute little mitten that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to lay it right here. We have this gorgeous. Now we have a bit of a, a, a what do you call that? A shadow going because it is getting dark here already. So I have this white piece that I have run through the embossing folder and it is just about an eighth of an inch smaller all the way around than the card front. So four and an eighth by five and three eighths or about 10 centimeters by 14.35. And that's just on a regular sized card base. Now I thought it would be fun and I have no idea how this is gonna work, okay? Because I haven't done this. This is just an idea in my head. So we're going to take this die which is a retired die, and I'm going to just lay it in the middle here, and I'm going to trace a little circle. You could use a shot glass or something like that, but I thought this die might be the right size. I'm just trying to do it kind of lightly because I don't want to have to erase it. I don't have a good eraser, so that's not good. And now we're going to take our real red ink pad, and we're going to stamp our first mitten. Okay, and I'm going to go right over the line. And then I have stamped a mitten on a piece of masking paper. Now I'm gonna have, I should have tried to get this already off. I have no, oh, actually, no. I'm gonna see if I can do this. I don't, and I don't wanna do it on camera because that just really stresses me out. I should get my pokey tool, which is not handy. Usually there's a little, oh, yeah, there is a split. Look at that. There's a little line in here from the, there, that helps me so much. Okay. So this masking paper is actually quite sticky. So I like to just put it on my hand first so that it doesn't take off my paper. I'm going to lay that masking paper right on top of the mitten. And then we're going to do another stamp. And I'm making a mitten three. There. Now we're going to move the mask. Take a look at that. How cool is that? Then we're going to put the mask on the mitten again. And when you cut out your mask, the tip is to cut just inside the line, okay? That way there won't be a, a white line around where they overlap. There. And I'm going to show you another trick with the mitten in a minute. Oh, see, there still is a line. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, oh, I'm not. I'm going to leave it. Not perfect. That's okay. Perfectly imperfect is what we're going with. Good enough is good enough. And now I'm going to put that one like so. One, two, three, four, five. Concentrate on what I'm doing. There we go. Pick up the mask again. 
And now we're going to put one here. Oh, and actually, I need a second mask because I'm going to overlap those two, unless I make sure I don't do that. Let's have a look. But yeah, no, I do want to do that. So you know what? I'm going to show you how to do it. Here we go. That's our masking paper. And put it right in there. And then we're going to cut it out. And don't worry too much about the end, all those little things. Just cut off those little bumpies. And here we go. Let me just move this a little bit. There. So on Wednesday, I'm doing a pay it forward event. And there's it's going to be a Zoom class, and I'm calling it the magic of Christmas because I'm going to teach you how to use your scraps, your paper scraps, your cardboard cardstock scraps to make pretty things for Christmas. Pretty packaging ornaments, fun things that aren't cards, okay? And I thought, I have lots of followers here who can't buy from me because they're in the wrong market, okay? A lot of Americans, Australians, I'm calling you guys. Every You guys always say you want to, want to support me. Well, I'm calling you out on that. See, now you can support me. There's a link. Message me if you want the link. I'll send it to you. It's through JotForm. Okay, now, of course, there's no split in this one. Um, and the reason I'm, it's a pay it forward event. So for people who can shop with me, you can join for free if you place an order, because guess what? I am about $400 away from achieving 600,000 CSV in career sales. I would love to make that goal by the end of December. You know what? I have to find my pokey tool because this is driving me absolutely bonkers. I should have made sure I did it over a split because I can't get the backing to come off or anything. Now, it doesn't help that I don't, my nails are terrible. But, and I'm too lazy to go up and find my pokey tool. Um, but you know what? Gerard says it too, I have no patience. It's such a bad thing. I mean, when I'm teaching you guys, oh, there we go. Then I have patience. But when I do something myself, I don't. Anyway, what was I saying? I'm so close to that career milestone so that if you order from me, you can join this class for free and you will get a tutorial bundle with a $60 order. You'll get that tutorial bundle if you join in with the pay it forward as well. Okay, so $20 and I'm going to use the money to, um, to buy kits for the women's shelter or for the mental health support groups because crafting is known to relieve stress. So I thought at Christmas time, it's so nice to do something for someone else. And this will be just a fun way to do it there. So I have now masked both of these mittens. Okay. I hadn't thought about that. I'm inking up my last mitten and it's going to straddle. There we go. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to remove the masks. And you know what? I don't know if this is a cute idea or not, but I thought it would be fun. Now I can't get the mask off. There we go. You can save your masks too and just put them in your stamp set. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Now, let's see. I was going to put it on the card like that, but I'm thinking I might just cut out my wreath. Look. And then I can pop it up. Oh, here, let's go down underneath here. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about that Wednesday Zoom. I will record it as well. So let's say it's at the wrong time for you. It's going to be at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in Ontario. That's also New York time, which is 4 p.m. in the Netherlands, and it's 3 p.m. in England. That's about as good as I get. Do not ask me what time it is in Australia. I've been taking some training from people in Australia, and I have messed up my timing twice, where I stayed up till late, late at night, and then I had it wrong. It frustrated me almost to the point of tears. Um, I'm not a logical person. And then sometimes I got, yeah, it's a long story. I got the time wrong. I totally forgot to say too, that this is a cheer corner video. And I do this because I believe that together we can change the world one card at a time. So nominate someone to get this card. I haven't decided yet what greeting I want to put on this, but it is kind of cute the way the hands all go together. Isn't that fun? I think it's fun. I love um, mittens and I love knitting. So how was that? 
And then you could, I think, to get the, um, make this look like it's like a different background, I could color it in with light blue, but we'll leave it like this for now. And then I'm gonna show you a reverse mitten trick in a minute, okay? Let's get this done. And we'll put some, maybe we need a little ribbon. Uh-oh, have I? Yeah, my, my, if you if you find that your liquid blue isn't going, it's usually because there's a little bit of it stuck inside. And sometimes it's still not going. The key is, people, to, it's still, oh, it's coming out very slowly. Oh, and then all of a sudden it comes out in a big blob. Did you ever happen? Does that ever happen to you? Look what we're going to do now. We're just going to take this other end off. How many have you ever used this end of your blue thing? We're just going to use that to spread it around. Normally, I would have just used my finger, but we're not going to do that today. Although I've seen somebody on YouTube from India, and she uses her finger all the time to put liquid glue on things. And I'm like, you must have to pause your video to clean your finger every time. Okay, so that's going to go on the card base. And then you can decide if you want the snow thicker at the bottom, which is probably the way it should be. Right? snow piles up on the bottom right there right there and now we're going to grab a few dimensionals to pop this up and then we're going to make a bow and like i said i hadn't thought this through all the way and maybe i'll come up with a better version of this card i don't know um, but it's pretty cool take these off the bat. Have you thought of someone to nominate for this card? I've received such warming testimonials of people who have received Cheer Corner cards, and that really makes me happy. Okay, let's get some ribbon. Oh, before I show you ribbon, I'm, I'm being a little bit scattered. Now I can't see it. Okay, you know what? We're going to do a Merry Christmas instead of a bow, I think. Let's see. That's my... I'm looking for some white paper. But uh, I really did get a little bit messed up with um, my visit. What's this? Oh, good. I found some white paper. Excellent. All right. Let's take our mitten off. And then we're going to do Merry Christmas. And maybe we'll still use a bowl. I don't know. And I should check to see if you guys are commenting. There we go. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to cut that around too. Like this. Oh, it's getting in the way. Oh, all right, that's easier to work with. Gonna go in like that and around there. Now we have our Merry Christmas. Let's see how that looks. I don't think I don't want to pop it up. If I do that, then it doesn't look like a, a wreath anymore. Merry Christmas. Underneath. Now I do have to get myself some ribbon. Okay. All right, I'm coming back. Here I am, that was my rolling desk chair. I can choose between this pretty silver, which is kind of what I'm leaning towards, or the gold. Are you a gold person or a silver person? Okay, I have this handy dandy little tool. It's a ribbon maker. And let me see, so you go around it, make an X, like so. The bottom goes up and around, so, stop. Okay, I stopped talking. That's not good. I'm just cutting this. So that I... The dog is distracting me, okay? Bailey is by the sliding doors and wants to come in. So what happens with the dog is that um, every time someone goes in and out of the greenhouse, the dog comes with, but he sometimes forgets to go back in, and then he comes to see me. He doesn't like to stay outside. 
all right so i just tied that tightly and now i have this cute little bow see isn't that adorable and my tails are completely crooked but if i do that that looks kind of nice all right let's turn the tails like so and like so and we're going to pop up the saying now, it doesn't have to be Merry Christmas. We can maybe do something else, a thinking of you or warm hugs or something like that. I will see if I can find a different sentiment and then I'll take a picture of the card with the different sentiment as well. And then you can decide what you want on it. Okay, so here's the Merry Christmas. And now let's get a dew drop. And we'll put the bow on and then I'm gonna see if you guys are chatting with me. So yeah, I'm really excited and maybe I'll make a graphic for getting to the top and there'll be a surprise for someone whose order gets me over the top so that um, I have something to celebrate at the end of 2023. There, I'm gonna put it right, right there maybe? Or up top? Where should we put it? Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna let you guys decide. Do we want the bow at the top of the wreath or at the bottom or off to the side? That's three choices, top, bottom off to the side okay I'm gonna wait I'm gonna check to see if you guys are talking to me let's see Amy well, this is a cute idea thank you all right I think are you the only one that's been talking to me oh no it says changes might not be saved if I reload okay we won't reload um, yeah okay well what do you think people should the bow go at the top the bottom or the side I'm leaning towards the side, actually. All right. That's what I'm going to decide. Off to the side. And the reason for that is it doesn't cover up my Merry Christmas there either, does it? I think it looks really cute. I'm happy with this card. And oh, yeah, right. I almost forgot. Okay. So here we go. We want a, a, a mitten that goes both ways. And how are we going to do that? Because there's only one mitten stamp. And if you have a pair of mittens, you want them sometimes to go both ways. So with our, yeah, let's have a look. Cute, 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 cute. Oh, look, I just put my fingers in the ink pad. Have you ever done that? I just did. Okay. So I've got a silicone mat here and I'm, I've just inked up my mitten and I'm going to stamp it on the silicone mat. Okay. There it is. And now I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to press it on the mitten that I just stamped okay and look there it is so it's not perfect because it's kind of vintagey so I'm thinking okay how do I get a vintagey stamp because watch if I just stamp it on on white paper look what happens here it goes the other way that's kind of cool too so this one has been left out in the snow and it got a little faded and that's the real deal but now if I do this, watch, um, I'm going to do another one here. And then I'm going to take this. There's still some ink on it. I had my mister and my mister is gone. Ah, oh, I was going to spritz some water on it. And when you do that, you get this. See how cool is that? So um, here's another one. That's more of a watercolory mitten. So you can do a whole chain of mittens. And I think it would be fun to do in blue as well. I had a blue ink pad here. I do, I do, I do, I do. Now, let me see. I'm looking for my cleaner, okay? If I can find my cleaner, then... Oh, yeah, I found it. I found it. I found it. Good. Thank you for being patient with me. Oh, wonderful. Hello, Emery. Oh, you want it at the top. June, the left facing me, yes. What is masking paper? Okay, so masking paper is, um, it's in the catalog. I will share it later. Masking paper has stickiness on the back, okay? So on one side is paper, and on the other side is uh, a thing that comes off, like a, a sticker backing. And so you stamp on the paper, and then you remove, then you cut out whatever, you can use a die cut, or you can cut with scissors, and then, it's, it's a sticker that covers the stamp that you just made. So it is wonderful. I mean, you can use sticky notes, but a sticky note only has one piece of stick. So that's not nice. 
So masking paper, I was super excited when Stampin' Up! came up with masking paper. So thanks, Yvonne. Oh, I'm so glad that I didn't end the video yet because you guys are talking to me. All right, let's do it in blue. Here's the red. I've got blueberry bushel. And I'm sorry if I'm a little distracted. Bailey is just going, carrying on and scratching at that window. But it's not cold. Bailey will be fine. There, I'm stamping. And uh, that one, see, I haven't re-inked that. So that was a thing I forgot to tell you. I'm going to rub that on. And look, it's a little pink underneath. Um, but it is a really cool technique. And the thing is, I think it's pink underneath because I didn't clean my, my mat, my silicone mat. I'm going to clip this. Here, and I'm going to put it on. Okay, guys, you know what? I have to let the dog in for a minute. Just patience, count to 20, and I'll be back. All right, take a look. Seven. There's Bailey. Hey, Bailey. Bailey's not a lap dog, and she really, he really didn't want to be on the camera. But here he is. I'm going to let him down. I figured since he interrupted my video, he needed to say hello. Okay. So here we go again. Ink. I've got my blue. Mitten. And okay, but now there's a there was something on the look at that. There's something on the thumb and I don't know what it is. I'm gonna clean it because that will be the space. And you know what? I'm also gonna clean my silicone mat. Now we're gonna try it again. Here. Ink it up. Check it. Oh yeah, that looks good. Press one, two, three, four, five, and here, rub. There. Oh, <laughs> and they're touching each other. But it does give a really nice vintage look for the mitten, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I don't know how else to, to make it work. I guess if you stamp off, let's try that. I've stamped full strength, stamp off, and then stamp. That works. If you stamp off, you'll get that same soft look. So that's how you do reverse stamping. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed that. I have a question before we go. Um, let me just take a look and see. My video keeps sticking this morning. Oh, I'm so sorry, June. I said to Gerard, you know, he's so busy with the flowers right now, but when the flower um, harvest is over, we need to get a internet specialist in the house to see how we can possibly make this better because it's important live videos get a lot more traction than a video that um you know i'm just going to turn this one off and that might help there that was probably stronger um, a live video gets a lot more traction than a recorded video and i love it that you guys can talk to me while i'm stamping and i can answer your questions and um and you know what that's really cool so thank you for being patient and hopefully I would like to know now if I'm just talking and I don't have the second device, um, is it, is it easier? So that's it. Anyway, I hope that you join me on Wednesday for the Chris Christmas magic, um, class. And also if you're planning to place an order for yourself to treat yourself for Christmas, I would, it would make me so happy because I'm so close to my, um, 600,000 CSV goal. I'll explain that because CSV is this complicated thing that Stampin' Up! uses so that um, the value is the same in all markets. So one CSV is one US dollar. So selling 600,000 CSV, if you multiply that times about 1.3, then you will get, you know what, I'm going to use my calculator on my phone for a minute and see if I can figure that out. That's how much I have sold in my 18 years of doing Stampin' Up! So that's really cool. Let's see. Okay, let's find the calculator on my phone. You guys maybe have beat me to it already. Let's see. Those are big numbers, aren't they? That's a lot of stamp ink and paper. Times 1.34 equals. That's $786,000 of stamps. So 
I've done a lot for Stampin' Up! And so so have you guys. Anyway, just to, I just I, it humbles me that a person from Little Chatham, Ontario, uh, 